This week's episode is about Laurel, Oriani, and how we hear the Holy Spirit. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. A lot of things happened in the world last week, many of them far more important than the controversy that has gone viral on the internet, of whether you hear Iani or Laurel. I didn't believe people could really hear it differently until my wife and I played it together. I heard Iani and she heard Laurel. I still think she might be lying. I'll play it twice, you repeat it, and then it'll play twice and I'll repeat what I hear. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're good? Laurel. Yanny. Laurel. Yanny. Laurel. 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 Yanny. Laurel. And while this is fun for the internet, it reminds me of how we might be hearing the Holy Spirit. This week we celebrate Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit, the birthday of the church. And on that first Pentecost day, when the disciples were all together, there was the sound of rushing wind, there were flames bursting on holy heads, and people heard in all different languages. And some thought the disciples were drunk. So what did you hear in worship this week? Did you hear the sound of mighty wind in an exciting, thought-provoking way? Or did you hear the sound of mighty wind in a fearful, a storm's coming kind of way? This seems to be the way that we respond to the Spirit. We either get energized and excited and ready for anything, or we hunker down and batten up like there's a storm coming. And it's all about perception. Because God is constantly calling us to a new thing to trust the Holy Spirit, to have the courage to go where she leads, and to keep the church alive. Bones may rattle, windows may shake, and perhaps even holy heads might be set afire. But the Holy Spirit is still moving today, and it's up to us to listen, and not so much argue about who's right and who's wrong. But if the Spirit isn't moving you, to bring love into the world. It's not the spirit moving. So listen again, challenge your thought, challenge your perception and see just what it is God is calling us to and how we can be the church alive and well today. May the joy and power and imagination of Pentecost be with you all. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.